Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tan Tan here and welcome you to another Transformer review. Today I have a brand new Studio Series figures to show you. Here we have the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee Deluxe Class B127 from the movie Bumblebee. So this is Bumblebee before the times he got to Earth. So this is his Cybertronian mode. And since you all know, this is the exact same toy from the Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper we got earlier. So in this video, I'm going to do it a little bit different than to, to the normal reviews. I'm going to compare B127 here next to the Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. So you can determine which one is worth your time to buy and play with. So now let's begin. So here we have the B127, in short, B and Cliff Jumper. So like I said, this is the Cybertronian sport cars, I think. And so the mold and everything is exactly the same. The only difference here is the colors. So with cliff jumpers, we got the tone of the red, the clear plastic, and the black from the ties and some other details. But with B, we got more focused color with the yellow, the dark clear plastic, <coughs> and the black wheels. And personally, in my opinions, I think that the colors of Bumblebee is much better than cliff jumper. Because as a matter of fact, the clear plastic with the red color has not has never been a best match in coloring but with Bumblebee we have this proof for so many times with that is that the major tone is yellow is the bright yellow with the black highlight it is really nice and catch the light as you can see in this shot right here Bumblebee really shines like a sport car and also the paint is really good I'm gonna bring in another Bumblebee figures which is the off-road Bumblebee for you to compare so here we have the off-road Bumblebee and as you can see here the color is different. With the Offer from B, we got a darker yellow tone. But with the B127 figures, we got a really nice bright yellow colors, which is almost look like neon in some light condition. And this is proves to be really nice to me. I enjoy yellow sport cars theme with black highlight. Along with these figures, when it first announced, I, I, I made a prediction during one of my talk shows that I wish that he would got the two machine guns on top of the vehicle mode. Just like in the movie rather than just his normal blaster and so yes we got the blaster which is kind of disappointed but stating the fact that this is a deluxe class that costs less than $30 and then Hasbro doesn't have to do anything too much about the packaging I see that and also look at this I see it is quite hard to give this guy a pair of machine guns because there is no port to attach so I hope that some third party is gonna do it somehow and I really wish that but enough of that now let's get to some size comparison so here we have B127 size comparing with Off-Road Bumblebee and the Voyager Class Sentinel. I'm sorry, I just finished my dino video and so I'm too lazy to bring in the Studio Series 38 Optimus from Bumblebee. So I mean, you get the size. This is a compare between a Voyager Class and a Deluxe Class and that should be it. And now let's get to some transformation. So for the transformation, since this is the exact same toy with Cliff Jumper, so I'm going to post a link to that review down below if you want to see the transformation. But for now, I'm going to do a quick transform of this guy because there's nothing to too new about this guy. So let's begin. And after finishing the transformation, like I said, this is the exact same as Cliff Jumper. So I do not have too many things too excited to say about this transformation. We've been through all this before. And I think fair enough to say this is still a really nice Cybertronian Bumblebee regard of the backpack. So now let's get to some details of these figures. So like I said, I have said before, this is the exact same toy. So the only major difference I will show you guys here will be some different in paint apps. First of all, I will look at the chest with the Bumblebee choice using the darker clear plastic with the yellow. It really highlighted chest detail, but if you look at the cliff jumper, the red and the normal clear 
plastic does not really highlight it up and of course I'm going to show you the next is the next different will be the other the metal details of this figures with Bumblebee you have a gun metal paint which look more muscular but with cliff jumpers it is all black so as for the way of show, show, showcasing the details B127 did a better job and some minor detail as well with the thigh section as you can see this is the exact same thigh piece but with B127 you got some metal paint onto the either section of the thighs which highlights all the nicer details onto it and but with clip jumpers you just blend and from this shot you barely see any details at all and one minor thing is will be the tips of the feet section for B127 you got some paint on onto the tip as well highlighting but with clip jumper all you got is just the red paint onto it because this is the same clear piece at all and one final thing will be for the torso sections as you can see here B127 got some really nice metallic paint onto here but with clip jumpers you you got nothing so as for the result B127 look more muscular built than clip jumpers and so and now I'm gonna zoom in for the only new thing about this figure which is the head as you can see this is a really nice head piece this is the brand new mode for the Bumblebee battle mask and it just look really nice I enjoy the Autobot logos onto it it's really small but they managed to did it and other than that the battle mask is really nice and fit in this is a brand new head sculpt which is really impressive and I hope to see this again sometime in the future and I'm gonna bring in another which is the Studio Series 18 Bumblebee so this two has have the head sculpt but as the result of having the figure which is kind of small and face changing mechanism of Studio Series 18 in my opinion it is not as impressive as the new one the only thing that I feel like would be nice is that I enjoyed the blue eye section of the old Studio Series battle mask but then again we will have B127 as a black and yellow tone robot so I think they just justify by having the eyes black because having the eyes black is a similar to the Michael Bay Bumblebee as you can see over here this is the Buzzworthy Bumblebee which is black as well so that is enough of that now let's get to some size comparison so here's a shot for the size comparison of B127 with Bumblebee and Optimus and so the thing is that with the Bumblebee renew the size of the robot are down so as you can see B is shorter than Bumblebee but the thing here is still wrong because actually in Bumblebee the size of Optimus Prime is equal to Bumblebee of the Bayverse so and B127 should be half the size so it is still kind of not in scale but the fact we have to consider here is that we have the robot which just cannot be too small oh yeah so it's gonna be something different so enough of that now let's get to his accessory accessory wise B127 came only with his normal blaster gun hand and as you can see this is the exact same mode of the off-road on B gun and the cliff jumper gun and the only difference between this is that the different colors for the B127 we have the metal color which is similar to his body color with off from B we don't have any pair at all and with cliff jumper we got the black and the silver tip and to attach this is still the same you just plug it onto his hand and we have it done now let's get to some articulation so we begin with the head he can look up really far thanks to that joint and look around his arms can swing out like that and do full rotation still got blocked by the wheels you have a bicep swivel you have to bend at the knee and no arms articul hands articulation you got a waist swivel and you got the kick to the front and kick to the back which is kind of blocked because of all the backpack this is the split you got some thigh swivel this is the bend of the knee this is the exact same as cliff jumper and this is the movement of the feet which is really nice and you got really nice articulation over here and that about it so i mean like this guy is decent enough for a deluxe class and if you miss our cliff jumper you definitely want to get this guy because it's a really nice toy with cheap price nice color nice painting and he's bumblebee so 
Uh, my prediction is that you will get a lot of bumpy figures from the Studio Series line. Now there's the second bumpy movie which is being in production, I guess. So yeah, definitely they got this guy. So that could be it for today, guys. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and give me a like and share. And tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. Also follow me on Instagram, that's where I do most of my updates. And if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Tantan out.